These are my tools that I use when I'm watercolor painting on a cookie. I have my brushes, a cup for cleaning the brushes that I'll put my vodka in. I've got cheap vodka. Uh, paper towels, I use quite a bit of them. Uh, you need some kind of a palette. I like to use a plate that holds enough vodka and, and has ridges for me to put the food coloring on. And then of course my food coloring, which I prefer the Wilton gels or the, the Wilton colors. They're a thicker consistency than the gels. And I find that they last longer when you're watercoloring and also they hold up better with the vodka. These uh, gels I use quite often when I'm coloring my icing. But I find that they're just a little too thin, and when you mix it with the vodka, they, they lose a lot of their pigment. Um, so I always use the Wilton colors when I'm painting. For my brushes, I have, these are Princeton brand. I got them at my local craft store. The brand doesn't matter. What I look for is that the brushes themselves are a synthetic brush, the synthetic bristles. I find that natural brushes tend to fall out a lot quicker and with a lot more um, pieces being left on the cookie and definitely nobody wants to eat pieces of your brush. So get a splurge for the synthetic if you can. This one is a flat shader. You can see flat shader, size eight. It's a good size, decent size for painting on cookies. None of my cookies are really that big. Uh, typically they're about the size of the palm of my hand, so that size brush can cover quite a bit of cookie real estate pretty fast. So it's, I don't know, probably a little bit more than a quarter of an inch wide. Uh, next I have my chisel blender, size four. It has um, a shorter cut but just as many bristles as the larger brush does, which gives it that chiseled cut at the tip. I sometimes use this when I'm um, doing a little bit of detail work, but I need like a, a flatter surface. Something else to note, um, these are, let me get this tag for you. These are a level two a mixed media used brush. Um, I typically always go for a level two or greater. Um, the beginner brushes, there's nothing wrong with them. They work just as well. Um, if you get the synthetic fibers, they'll work just the same as these will. The, the thing that I've noticed with the level one or the beginners is that this part of the brush will fall off. They're just not held together as well as the more expensive brushes are. Um, something else is to look for is that you're not getting a wooden handle on your brush. Wooden handles are typically painted and the paint with enough washing, um, the paint will start to chip off. And I wash these brushes quite often. I stick them in the dishwasher sometimes um, to sanitize them. Um, but I can, you can use soap and water, uh, dish soap. I just use dish soap and keep them clean but I handle them quite often and I'm making sure to scrub them because they're touching food. So you wanna make sure that you have a good quality brush that's not gonna to start to fall apart after the 10th time you use it. But also if you're a beginner and just starting out and wanna get your feet wet with painting, beginner brushes are great. Same quality of the brush, it's just the, you know, the, the handle itself that will start to fall apart. Then this one is my detail brush, my angle spot detailer. I love it. I can have my cookie, see what I'm doing, it's angled. I love it. It's super tiny too. So when I'm doing little trees, I can really get in there. These are the only three brushes I use for my watercolors. You don't need to have a whole lot of brushes. I have a lot of tips and techniques that you can use 
um, with these brushes that will give you the look of having many different types of brushes. For instance, a fan brush, which is typically splayed out, and that's what you would use if you were doing watercolor or acrylic trees on a canvas. Um, I find that you can use this brush just as easily on a cookie if you know how to manipulate the vodka, which I will show you in a later video. Um, so I do paint with the Wilton gels that are in the tubs. I also paint with luster dust. I really enjoy the translucence of painting with luster dust. And what I mean by that is I can have a blue background, a blue painted background on my cookie and then mix the luster dust in and it's just mix it in with some vodka and it's just so see-through and light adds just a little bit of color, a little bit of sheen. It's kind of shiny and sparkly. So don't be afraid to try painting with anything that you would use on a cookie. And then like I said, cheap vodka. I'm definitely not drinking my paint water. It's very bad vodka. But that's it. Those are my brushes.